It feels so good to be back. It's been a while I haven't seen you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. The past couple of days have been very busy in my personal life. So now I'm back. The grind is real and we've reached 11,000 subscribers. What the hell's going on? Is this even real? Anyways, guys, today I'm going to be telling you why you shouldn't be selling your drip. Quite frankly, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about selling their drip on a daily basis because this is a Ponzi going down to zero. Listen, today I'm here showing you mathematical proof and you guys can even tag Moonshot Max in the comments to verify my math because he's the math guru, right? And you know, I've, I've got some mathematical proof why you shouldn't be selling your drip. And I hope you guys tune in. There is a small little piece of information that I hit in this video. If you guys find it, type it in the comment section down below and you might win some drip. That's all I have to say. You just might win some drip. All right, guys, so let's jump right into today's video. I put up a poll, you guys can go and take a look at it, but I'm thinking of going live and doing some live sessions soon and you guys know that I'm always down to do some lives with the Drip Avengers and I wanted to get your opinion on who I should have on the show. Uh, you know, we could be talking about crypto, we could be talking about analysis, technical analysis, anything really that you guys are interested in um, and you know, I'm looking to make it a bit more fun and, and uh, interactive. So. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the um, in the community tab right over here. All right, so let's quickly look at the drip price. Right now, we have around a 68 cent drip, which could be bullish or it could be not bullish. It really depends on how you look at it, all right? But anyways, today, guys, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't be selling your drip because right now, a lot of you are compounding your drip on a daily basis. A lot of you are selling your drip or a lot of you are just holding your drip. And today, I'm going to show you some mathematical proof why you shouldn't be selling your drip None of this is financial advice, but this is just my personal opinion. It's some math that I've done here and there for some people that are in the community that have, that have asked me some questions, and I want to share this information with you guys. So if you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button and share it with your friends that might be selling their drip. All right, guys, so let's jump right in. So I have over here three different scenarios, okay? And I've made the math around this. All right, so these three scenarios, I'm going to first talk about my particular scenario, which is me right now sitting at 2,677 drip in my faucet. This is after I got in with 6.6 .6 drip at the peak of the bull market. And I was just dollar cost averaging my position, hydrating my position and uh, just joining some team members and uh, benefiting from the referral bonus of 10% at the first deposit. Okay, the second scenario is going to take into consideration the average. So you guys know the drip formulate tool. Uh, I was able to go there and look at the average that is currently sitting in everybody's faucets. And the average is right now sitting at 619 drip uh, across all of the different wallets that have a faucet that's currently active. And the third suggestion and third scenario is uh, what I suggest those that are new to this ecosystem at the price of 67 or whatever we just said, or 70 cents, let's round it up, a thousand drip. Okay, if you're sitting at a thousand drip in your faucet, what kind of scenario are you looking at? So what I'm looking at today primarily is somebody who's selling their drip on a consistent basis versus somebody who's hydrating their faucet on a consistent basis. Now, keep in mind that this is for those that believe that drip is going to be here for at least a year. Okay, you can't take these values into consideration if you think drip is a Ponzi going down to zero. They're going to exploit the, uh, the, the, the developer is a scammer and he's going to steal our money and run away. Like if that's the kind of person that you are right now and kind of investor, then this is not the project for you. But this takes into consideration somebody who believes that the project is at least going to be here for a year. So it gives you that understanding of what happens if I hydrate versus what happens if I sell every single drip that I have every single day. All right. All right. Perfect. So let's start my scenario right now. I have 2677 drip that I'm hydrating on a daily basis. Okay. Now this shows if we go all the way down here that I'm going to be maxing out my wallet in 235 days. Okay. 235 days. I'll be making around 274 drip, for example, per day. That's, that's an approximate number 270 drip per day. 
minus taxes, let's say, just for sake of numbers here, 200 drip per day, okay, after taxes. All right, now, if I look at the mathematical values behind that, okay, if you are going to be hydrating all the way to your, to your max wallet, okay, take it into consideration again that the price of drip is 70 cent, these are the values. It's going to cost me $94 on average because I went to buy, uh, to the uh, BSC scan and I noticed that the average of my gas fees is around 40 cents for every hydrate, okay? And this is taken into consideration that I'm using the regular Binance Smart Chain. I'm not using Anchor that drops your, uh, your, your gas fees to 7 cents or whatever that everybody's been talking about. I uh, rather pay that extra few cents because honestly, it's just cents and hydrate quickly and without having to waste an hour waiting for my transaction to pass if it doesn't fail, right? Uh, it's going to cost me on average to, to get to my max wallet $94, okay? Now, if, for example, I am to sell my drip every single day instead of hydrating every single day, right? This is now comparing both values. I'm going to get around 24 drip per day for 365 days okay now that is going to be a value of six thousand one hundred and fifty seven dollars now you guys might be thinking six thousand dollars is pretty good uh investment out of this faucet if i were to sell it every single day we have to look at a few different values this will be after 365 days that's around 130 days after i reach my max wallet after spending $94 worth of gas fees, right? Take into consideration that I would be paying taxes around um, around 70 drip, let's say. 200 drip would be a price of $140. Take into consideration that drip is still 70 cents, which is going to take me around 43 days until I get to the $6,157, right? So, Instead of ending my journey with $6,000, I could earlier on, instead of 365 days on average to, to reach your max payout if you sell every single day, it would take you a hundred. It would take you 235 days. Okay, you would take around 43 days to get this investment, which is still 90 days earlier getting back your full investment and continuing on for another probably 100 150 more days of claiming 140 dollars every single day or 200 drip tokens every single day now this is not taken into consideration utilities animal farm buybacks uh community efforts to send drip to the tax vault community efforts to add drip to the reservoir you guys should check out guardians underscore nft on twitter we are adding a lot of bnb to the reservoir it's super super bullish you guys check it out this is not taken into consideration any of those community efforts droplet is launching uh, lene is doing drip games on the weekends like these community efforts are going to bring the price of drip up right but if you think it's going to stay the same thing then it's going to be much more beneficial in my scenario to just keep hydrating every single day. That's even if I don't want to invest any more money. I'm not going to dollar cost average. I'm not going to sell. I'm just going to hydrate every single day. And if I choose to dollar cost average, the smallest amount at this these prices could bring your max out day much sooner, right? I used to max out around the end of October and now I'm maxing out, which... Uh, by the looks of it in the middle of september so already there if you dollar cost average you're gonna max out earlier you're gonna make more money on a daily basis after you max out because you have to claim every single day and you'll be able to reinvest that in the animal farm or any other project or blue chip that you want to invest in okay now let's take a look at scenario number two Scenario number two looks at somebody who's an average user who has 619 drip in their faucet right now. They would max out their wallet in 382 days. 382 days would cost you approximately $152 worth of gas fees. Okay, so that's just around um, $60 more than I would pay right now. 
Now, if you were to be selling your drip every single day instead of reaching your max wallet. Okay, so you are going to reach the end of your wallet's life cycle in 365 days. So that's going to be around 17 days earlier. You would be making a total of $1,400 out of this whole investment that you've put in. However, let's say you do wait an extra 17 days, right? You just wait an extra 17 days. Patience is a virtue. If you wait an extra 17 days to max out your wallet, it would take you around 10 days worth of claiming $140 per day to end up with what you were to get out of your faucet after max is out uh, 17 days earlier, which is 1400 plus you would get another 40 or 50,000 more drip to claim on a consistent basis, which is roughly 100 days or 150 days. I'm not sure what the, the, the total number of, of days after that would be because it depends on your dollar cost averaging. It depends on how many hydrates you do if you're consistently doing every 24 hours. But all this to say, it would take you 10 days to get this amount. And then after that, everything else is profit. Everything else you get to take out and invest in blue chips. Everything after that you get to take out and reinvest in the animal farm. Now let's look at the last option, which is what I would suggest new investors that are not in the faucet to do. Okay. Now those guys would start with a thousand drip because right now at 70 cents, it just makes more sense to start at a thousand because you would be able to compound 10 drip per day right away and just keep that going and going and going and going and going right it's going to take you much less time to compound as of a thousand because of all the utilities coming out we can expect much more price appreciation especially if you're looking at the bitcoin having happening in 2024 right you want to get to a max wallet as soon as possible to start accumulating more blue chips as soon as possible to be able to benefit from that bull run happening after the having of bitcoin so you would start at a thousand and it would take you roughly 334 days to max out that wallet it would cost you 133 dollars for gas fees but let's say you choose to sell your drip instead of maxing out your wallet right you're going to sell your drip after taxes you're going to be getting roughly nine drip tokens which are valued at the 70 cent mark six dollars and 30 cents for all nine drip and you're going to total out after 365 days, $2,299.50, right? But what you could choose to do is you could max out earlier than ending your wallet's lifespan. And it would take you around 16 days and a half or let's say 17 days to get to your 2299 and then after that everything is money for you to invest in different projects as i said before if you want to buy more dogs more pigs start a new wallet at that point i mean a lot of people would have already started new wallets but you know like there's so many different opportunities you could take with that this is the power of the faucet and this is why a lot of people always say the best thing for you to do at these prices, the best option for you to do would be to start a new faucet wallet and keep compounding until you reach your max wallet because once the bull run happens, your price of drip is not going to be 70 cents anymore. These DeFi projects work in cycles. So no matter what happens, if Bitcoin goes on a rally back to 50,000, BNB is going to follow it, Ethereum is going to follow it, AVAX is going to follow it, all the altcoins and blue chips are going to follow it. And because all of the animal farm and drip network pools are kind of related to BNB, because BNB is going to go back up in value, drip is for sure going to go back up in value, even if there's no utility attached uh, that's going to be dropping from now to then, right? So you're not going to be seeing a 70 cent drip anymore. It's going to be higher than that for sure. No questions about it. So this is essentially a message to all the people that are selling one drip a day, two drip a day, five drip a day. It doesn't make sense to sell your drip at this point. And for me, if I were in your position, I would keep hydrating. If you don't trust the protocol at this point, it's better to just keep hydrating and hydrating and hydrating. Don't dollar cost average, right? If you don't see any price momentum, don't cost average. Don't dollar cost average. Just wait for some BNB price appreciation. Wait for some drip price appreciation. And when that happens and you feel like it's the right time for you to jump in, once we get new projects, new utilities, new bullish AMAs, new uh, whatever different projects that Froge is doing on, once we get enough 
momentum back in and you feel like it's the right time for you to start investing again, then do it at that point. But if you don't feel like it's the right thing for you to do, then logically and mathematically, it's not worth it to sell your drip every single day. The total amount that you're going to be getting will be way less than if you would have just waited and maxed out your wallet again. This is all taken into consideration that the price of drip is 70 cents. But if drip goes to one dollar, right? If it goes to one dollar, 200 bucks a day, right? It'll take you 11 days to get there instead of It'll take you 11 days and a half to get there instead of 60, 17 days, right? So like all this to say is there's do different opportunities. If you don't do your research, you might never know these. And that's why you subscribe to somebody like me who's able to educate you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys, obviously none of the information shared here is financial advice. This is what I'm passionate about and what I feel is the right project for me. What I see long term for the project is beyond anything I've seen in DeFi, crypto or any type of investment. So I choose to invest my money into this project. You could do the same or you could do something completely separate. It's really up to you. But I'm here to educate you on what the platform can offer you. Right, guys. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel because I do weekly drip airdrops and comment down below what you think is the right strategy. What are you doing right now to pump up your bags? And I'll see you guys in the next one.